Welcome to my channel. I'd like to show you how to make some nice paper and you could do this on card as I'm going to do today but um, it's a lovely way to create a background for any project that you're making. So you're going to need some 160 gram white card which I've got here. I'm taking a regular stamp that I would use for card making normally and I'm going to be stamping off the design I'm not going to apply paint over the surface because you can see that the little ridges here are very shallow so the paint would get in between those but I'm going to be using this on wet paint and in my little Fermilab tray I've mixed up some colors I've got a little bit of red and purple and I've mixed some paints gray in and a little bit of wallpaper paste and I've had to go quite dark with this so it wouldn't be something that I would normally do for um, a card but in order for it to show up on camera I've had to mix the grey in so that you can see the designs nicely so normally I would just maybe stick with red but for today's purposes of being able to show you how to do this I need this to be darker so I'm just going to cover my card using my little sponge roller and I want the paint to start to settle into the card before I start my impression if there's too much paint on the surface I'm not really going to get a good um, impression. So I've rolled this all left to right like that and I'm just going to roll over it a little bit more so that it starts to settle in. There we go. And now I'm going to take my card and I'm going to place my stamp onto this and I'm going to put a lot of pressure on here. I'm wanting to lift the paint up so in order to do that, I need to pressure. You can rock the stamp a little bit if needs be. And then I'm going to lift it up and you will see that I'm starting to get a design showing through. The design will become more pronounced as it starts to dry. And I'm now going to place this down for a second time and just really press down nice and firmly. And in between each impression, I'm just wiping the stamp on a nice dry piece of cloth so that I'm taking off any paint that I might have picked up. Okay, there we go. And as I say, as the designs start to dry, the impressions become much more pronounced. It's just a different way that you can actually use your stamps. You know, we've got a lot of stamps that we bought for card making back in the day, or if you're still a card maker, um, and sometimes you've maybe had them sitting in the drawer ready to toss out, but this is a new way that you can use them. So. On my A5 piece of card here, I can get six little impressions and this would be a really, really nice background. There we go. So it's very delicate, but you can see the first two that I've done, which are now starting to dry, are really showing up beautifully and it almost gives a nice sort of soft silhouette kind of feel. So please check out some of the other um, videos in my playlist. I'm doing a lot on decorating papers because I feel that people have got time in winter to be able to do this and um, you certainly can build up your stash like that. So look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.